Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the True Crafting Crew. Yes, today we will be sublimating sequence pillows. I have, this is part two to a video that I just did showing you guys in Silhouette Studio how I actually take a design from somewhere. <laughs> And I put it in Silhouette Studio and I make two different pictures. There's one, well, both of them on, on 11 by 17 paper because what's happening is, okay, our pillow, I've measured this in advance. It is 15 and a half by 16 and a half. So a regular 11 by 17 piece of paper on our HLB Plus Up paper is not big enough to cover our entire pillow, as you can see. So we need two pieces of paper. So in Silhouette Studio, in part one, I will show you guys how to make your image split into two pictures, basically. Yeah, I got it. All right, so in this video, we will just be pressing our sublimated design. Isn't she hot? She, this girl is so pretty. Anyway, so she is in two different pieces. We were going to put this girl together and press her onto this sublimation pillow. And let me just show you guys how to do this. So this sequence pillow flips to white. It flips blue to white. So we will push it all the way on its white side. This sequence is a polyester polymer, so it is sublimatable. So that is what I'm gonna do first. It is sort of a tedious process, some of the, because if you can see, well, you probably can't see. Let me see. Sometimes you'll have pieces, like you see this blue, blue one right there, that are, is not completely flipped. So I'll have to dig in here and flip it around to the white side. So I am going to take my time, and you guys are too at home, going to take your time and flip those pieces that are different colors onto the white side. And this is just so that when you sublimate it, you are sublimating on just the white sequence and not on the blue. Because you wanna make sure your image comes, is, is pulled over clearly. And it's, they are just really small pieces that you have to flip around. So I'm gonna do that for a second. This may take me a minute and I don't wanna hold up y'all time just watching me flip sequence. But just so you know what I'm doing, I am flipping all of the pieces that did not flip from the blue side to the white side, I'm flipping them to the white side. All right, guys, so now that I have it all flipped on the white side, you see, if y'all see any blue, let me know. Okay, <laughs> so now that I have it all flipped, I will lay it on the side. Now, we'll use our trusty X-Acto knife to cut the girl. I'm gonna place her on our mat. Max, please get away from me. Hi, you guys wanna see Max? <laughs> this is Million Dollar Max, this is my buddy. He's very friendly and he keeps bothering me. But, leave me alone, Max. I'm busy. We're gonna cut the white off of this picture. And I'll use this, this ruler with my X-Acto knife to cut the access off. Oh man, I lost my blade again. Okay, in order to put the blade in the X-Acto knife, you'll unscrew this top a little bit and then you'll just place the blade. But be very careful when you're replacing blades because it's sharp and you don't want to cut yourself. And then you just want to tighten it back up. So, and that's fairly simple to do. Y'all got this. Wait, I'm talking about it's fairly simple and I ain't doing it right. No, just playing. <laughs> All right, I got it tightened. All right, so now we will cut. Um, yeah, I know I love to exacto. Normally, if you don't have an exacto knife at home, it is not a necessity in order to do this project. A pair of scissors works just fine. So if you have a scissors, you can use them. I just like the exacto knife. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, because it just cuts so precisely. Oh man, until your ruler moves. Duh. All right. I'm gonna flip this to cut the rest. 
because my ruler is not 17 inches long. It's only 12 inches. Almost finished. And then we'll move it up and cut that last piece off. Uh-oh. All right. So we'll move our scraps. Oh, I got one more piece. The top of the last piece. We'll exacto that piece off too. All right. So y'all can see. Oh shoot. How smooth that exacto is. All right. So the next thing that we will do is we'll take our two images and we will put them together. The way we will do that, let me move the mat out the way. And we have already have the other one already cut. So we have our two images. In order to do this, what I'm going to do is decide which piece, I'm gonna put this piece on top. The piece that has the majority of her face, I'm gonna put that piece on top. And then I'm going to put it together based on like the O and the E. So we'll get some thermal tape. And what I'll do is I will put tape on the inside of the bottom piece. So what I'll do is I'll get some thermal tape and I'll place it flipped up towards me. So the sticky part of the tape is up towards me and I'll have the tape on the bottom. And you really just need a few pieces just so you can tack it in place. I'll do one more piece. Sticky part face you. It doesn't really have to be thermal tape. Really it can be, um, it could be any kind of tape just to tape this down. Cause no, I take that back. Use heat resistant tape just in case your heat press touches the tape. You don't want it to be melting all on your press and stuff. So now we wanna match these two images up together as best we can. Nothing in life is perfect, but we try and strive to be. So, put that together, boom. And I'm gonna flip it around so y'all can see. Y'all see how I got that pretty good? It's almost flawless. You probably you can't even tell that it even is a split in between there. All right. So let's get our pillow. Uh oh, it flipped back some. So let me make sure it's all on the white side again. When you press your image onto your sequence pillow, you want to make sure that the sequence on the pillow is face down. So don't have your sequence flipped up because it won't flip right. So when I say flip down, I mean these pieces, make sure that the white is going down. That's what I'm saying. So I have the white sequence going down everywhere. I'm gonna have our image and I'm gonna flip the pillow on top of it. And I'm going to get it centered on there as best that I can. This one is really exact, y'all. So I'm going to pray that I got it as close as can be. So we're going to get it centered on there as best as we can. And now we are going to tape the pillow to the paper. In order to do that, <clears throat> very simple. We'll get our pieces of tape and we'll just tape it down. Not that hard to do, ladies and gentlemen. This part is very, fairly, fairly simple. Oh man, it's over. This is what I'd be afraid of right here, y'all. Just know that I ain't perfect either. <laughs> Let me move this over a second. All right, that's better. That makes me happier. All right, so then we'll just tape this down. And it's okay to make mistakes before you press because those mistakes can be fixed. 
<laughs> so we are taping our see our we're taping our paper to our sequence. And what I kind of do is I'll put my tape sticky side up on the back of the paper here. And then I will I will tape up so that making sure that I'm not I'm not getting any white on the sides. But how you tape is purely up to you. You know? Surprise me. No. Do it my way. That's <laughs> way. As long as you had a tape and it doesn't move, it should be fine. It should be fine. I'm a taper, y'all. I be liking to make sure things don't move. When it comes down to sublimation, and I'm right now I just turned it around so I could tape the other side. When it comes down to sublimation, it, things move and then it don't be right. So to pre prevent that all from happening to you, tape is your friend when you're doing sublimation. Tape is your friend, trust me. And I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can because I don't want y'all to be like getting bored with me taping stuff. Just do a couple more pieces and that's gonna be it. One more right here on this side. Taped. All right, y'all. And let's go ahead to the press. Okay, guys, now that we're at heat press, we are going to press our sequence pillow on this heat press. We have preheated our heat press to 400 degrees, and we're going to do that for 60 seconds. I hope it's at 60 seconds, y'all. Yes. 60 seconds 400 degrees at 60 seconds um i have pre-cut some butcher paper and i'm just gonna lay this butcher paper onto the bottom of our press and that's just so that when i press our pillow the access from like the sides doesn't go onto the bottom of our heat press so i'll flip our design over to fit our Our heat press. Are we good, y'all? I think we're good. I'm gonna press that for 60 seconds. I wish I could answer questions, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Wait, there was one thing instead of me coming back. Let me tell y'all when I put my image onto the sequence pillow, it was really exact to prevent you from being exact like I was, give yourself like 0.1 inches or 0.2 inches. So like mine was 15 and a half by 16 and a half. Go to 15.6 or 15.7 or 16 and a half, 16.6 or 16.7. That way it'll give you that extra 10th of an inch just so that you can, um, so that you'll have a little bit more bleed, a little bit more playroom on both sides or, of your sequence. But we got like 12 more seconds. 10, 9, uh, we almost there. I promise y'all, we are almost there. I like experiencing this with y'all. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all ready? Y'all ready? This is what we've been waiting on, y'all. I hope this is a beautiful. Actually, I know it's going to be beautiful. <gasps> oh, my. it's so hot. It's so hot. And I'll be using so much tape. It's going to be ridiculous. The right thing to do is to let this cool. But I'm I'm so amped about seeing the design. Oh my god, look how gorgeous this is, y'all. It's so pretty. And this is what I'm gonna tell y'all. This is what I mean about making sure it's a little bit larger. Okay. Look at our isn't this beautiful? Oh my god, it's so hot. But I just want to show y'all. Isn't that nice? So if I oh right here. Y'all see, I still got a little bit of white here on this side. It's really not that much. It's just this little bit of piece of sequence white right here. 
if i had made this the my bleed just that that tenth of an inch a little a little bit longer it probably would have covered this little piece but this is really this looks really good this is used with our hov plus sub sublimation paper and our hov plus sub sublimation ink it is flawlessly beautiful this is our sequence pillow that flips up to blue y'all see how that do oh that's so hot yes I'll, this is gonna be in the front of our store if anybody want you want to come in and look at it it's totally hot see y'all later till next time true crew next time troop oh look i got tape on it